Kingdom. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Illuminati, a man who rules the world, takes on the head of the global elite in this all-new action-packed John Haynes series adventure. Get your copy of John Haynes Illuminati in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. One of my viewers wanted me to talk about society's hatred of socially awkward men. Now this viewer believes that society has a hatred of socially awkward men possibly from past traumatic experiences that they've had as related to social situations. Now, a lot of men deal with social awkwardness these days because of the way we have been raising boys to become men, and because the way we raise boys to become men doesn't really teach them social skills, many of these men wind up struggling in social situations where they have problems interacting with people. Now, when it comes to many socially awkward men, they may believe that society hates them because oftentimes with people, when they see a man who doesn't really have strong social skills, some individuals in society will see that as a weakness. And because they see it as a weakness, what they will do is look to try to use that to try to make the other person appear to be weak so that they can appear to be stronger. However, this social awkwardness is not the fault of the man, and when it comes to that man, he needs to understand that society doesn't hate him, he just needs to learn how to develop his interpersonal skills. Now, when it comes to a lot of socially awkward men, they wind up struggling as boys because they don't get taught proper social skills by their parents. Now, these parents basically don't do two things. One, they don't really model a healthy social interaction in front of them, possibly because they are working at their jobs. And two, they don't really create an environment where this child can learn and develop social skills in a healthy way. Now, many of these parents, what they will do in some cases is take their child to a place like a daycare and it'll make the belief that the child will learn social skills in a daycare environment. However, I've had a family member who worked in daycare and they tell me that the social environment for daycare doesn't really teach social skills to children because many of the workers are not certified teachers who know how to teach in an environment. No, these are workers who are basically paid a little bit above minimum wage and children are warehoused. And as children are warehoused, they basically are on their own. And as they're on their own, they don't really learn any sort of social or interpersonal skills or learn how to navigate social situations. And because these children don't learn these essential male life skills and male survival skills, what happens is, is that these children wind up on a place where they wind up becoming socially awkward when they grow up to become adults. Now, these socially awkward adults, basically what happens to them is that they wind up becoming socially awkward because the environment they're in, again, doesn't teach them these social skills that people expect them to have. Now, a lot of people expect a man to have these social skills because they expect him to have that as basically part of his male life skill and survival skills that he's supposed to have. Moreover, they're expecting him to have these skills because they're expecting him to be a leader and expect him to be an authority figure who should know these things. But if a boy isn't taught these things at an early age, then there's no way for him to know what these things are. And that's what's happening to a generation of socially awkward men. These socially awkward men basically are struggling to navigate a course in life. And even worse, they're being ridiculed by some people who really don't understand that we all didn't grow up the way that they did because a lot of people didn't really get those social skills because their parents sometimes didn't have those skills and other parents basically wound up abusing their children, abusing their children by doing things like, in some cases, 
modeling dysfunctional social skills in front of them by, as related to their home life by arguing and having these back and forths and other cases basically verbally abusing the child and as they verbally abuse the child what happened to the child is the child instead of being encouraged to go out here and speak and have their voice what that child does is basically wind up withdrawing and as they wind up withdrawing what happens is is that child doesn't know how to navigate social situations and even worse they've developed a fear of being in social situations so they avoid them and in extreme cases what happens to that child is that child starts to develop an anxiety about being in social situations because they've had to deal with situations that when they tried to be social what happens is the basically the parents because they're so abusive wind up shutting everything down by yelling at the child and that discourages the child from going out here and having the confidence to go out here and look to participate in the basic social situation where they're looking to have an interaction with their mother or if they'll be talking to their parent and the parent will basically snap at them and what that will make the child do is again withdraw once again so the child doesn't have any encouragement to go out and look to participate in basic social situations because their parents are so cruel to them and even worse is that when they try to communicate with people in social situations they will find out that other people that they're supposed to trust like daycare workers or teachers will also go out and basically blow them off by being disrespectful or being neglectful or hostile and again this does not motivate a child to develop their social skills and makes it where the child again starts to withdraw even further which makes them appear to be weak to their classmates and as it makes them appear to be weak to their classmates what this does is make it where these, ch these children further pile on and start bullying that child and as they look to bully that child what that does is make it where the child becomes further discouraged in looking to participate in social situations because they fear some sort of reprisal and because they fear reprisal they don't see being social as something positive so this is where a man starts to become socially awkward as an adult because he doesn't get that positive reinforcement and because he doesn't get that positive reinforcement as related to social situations where he sees positives coming out of those social situations like basically getting his needs met as related to basic communication or being praised in a positive fashion for accomplishing something or receiving support in a social situation this basically makes it where that child basically cannot function and starts to become socially awkward and in the worst case scenario starts to become anxious about being in social situations with people because they fear in some cases that there will be some sort of reprisal or some sort of threat to them so they don't want to be social and again society again further exacerbates the situation because the socially awkward man has no real reward for going out here and looking to build up his social skills and doesn't have any sort of support for building those social skills because there's nobody there to encourage that man no no one there to encourage that man and in many cases when a man makes a mistake in a social situation what people do is berate that man berate that man to the point where he winds up losing his self-confidence and again further winds up withdrawing from society and that's because again in our society we are just so harsh on men for making minor mistakes in social situations and instead of looking to be leaders like people want men to be a lot of males don't know how to sit and take the role of leadership where they can just pull a man to the side and when he makes a mistake let him know okay you made a mistake that's not how you operate as related to a social situation this is how you operate in that situation and basically model positive behavior so this individual can learn the proper way to develop the male life skill of social interactions with people 
That's what we don't have in our society as related to helping socially awkward men because a lot of men expect a man to have these skills, but a lot of men don't have these skills because over the last 60 years, as we've been in this feminist and gynocentric culture, we have focused not on developing a man's social and interpersonal skills because one, there's really not many fathers in the home and two, many mothers are at work. So many of these males are not learning these skills and even worse, older men are not pulling these young men to the side and talking to them. No, they come in and are extremely angry at these men for not having these skills and that's what they don't understand is that these boys never got these skills as related to learning how to navigate social situations many boys never got these skills taught to them at all and the way you help a socially awkward man is not by castigating or criticizing him for making mistakes no, the way a man of character helps a man who's socially awkward is basically going out here and doing what I do on many of my live streams and videos where I talk to those men directly and I also write books to encourage them like the books like the Stop Simpin series like, like Stop Simpin, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance um, Stop Simpin in the Workplace, Stop Simpin in Cyberspace and even books like The Man Crisis, helping that man develop the social and interpersonal skills that he's going to need to navigate a course in life. Because the only way for a socially awkward man to learn how to coordinate himself is if he's taught by another man. And sadly, in our society, many of the males out here have learned female traits. And because these males have learned female traits, what has happened to many of our boys is that they don't get those social skills to navigate a course in life. They don't get taught what they need as related to how to socialize with, with other men and other women. No, people expect the daycare to do these jobs, but the daycare and the public schools are not capable of doing these jobs because these are primarily gynocentric environments and they don't understand the way a man socializes is different from the way a woman socializes because when it comes to w women they socialize very differently than men no men basically are socialized and and socialize because they want to work together and build and women socialize because they want to spread gossip and rumors so a man again processes information for logic and reason and women basically because they're emotional run with rumors and gossip but men want hard information and again this is all part of the socialization process that we don't see as related to men because we have basically undermined our men and again this is why so many males are socially awkward and don't know how to set a course for themselves they don't know how to set a course for themselves as related to basic social situations because there's no man to teach them how to do these things. And in our society, we don't really value teaching men these skills, but these are skills are essential for a man's survival. These skills are essential for a man's survival in the world. He needs to learn how to socialize and how to talk to people. Moreover, he needs to learn how to read people and read their body language and their facial expressions and read the energy of the room. This is what a man has to learn in order to survive in the world because if a man doesn't learn these skills, what's going to happen is he's going to be targeted by female predators and predatory men who look to take advantage of him. And the thing is, is that if you want to help that man, you show him the greatest respect by going out and teaching him how to move in this world with these skills because again being socially awkward is a is a man who is in a position of weakness because if a man is socially awkward and doesn't know how to navigate social situations he basically is walking around with a target on his back and this is why society really doesn't have much love for a socially awkward man because a socially awkward man basically is 
sending out the signal that he is a weak and naive man, a weak and naive man who may possibly be the weak link for a social circle. So the socially awkward man, the only thing he can do to strengthen his position in society is learn how to become more coordinated and more balanced as related to how he moves in society. A socially awkward man has to learn how to become coordinated and the only way he can learn how to become coordinated is by again working with other men who will have compassion and understanding towards his situation. Compassion and understanding and understand, yeah, not everybody is like me and not everybody possibly had a father or male figures to teach them how to socialize in situations and not every man knows every social situation and social situations can change from place to place because I know some people get upset with me because they think oh he's not making eye contact directly not understanding that where I grew up in the South Bronx in the 80s during the crack epidemic looking at a man could possibly get you killed and not understanding that again many young men they, they don't do this because they're, they're, they're not because they're weak or anything no they're doing this because they're trying to survive in the world and the culture they grew up in and culture changes from place to place and again you have to understand where people are coming from because sometimes we think a person is socially awkward but a person is participating in social skills that they learn from a different culture. Like in the case of Asian countries, and people don't make eye contact like that because it's considered to be sexually suggestive or aggression. So this is something you have to understand about socially awkward men. Socially awkward men, again, they are, they may, they may look weak on the outside, but the whole thing is if you want to help a man, you want to help strengthen his position, what you have to do is work with that man, work with that man to help him become coordinated so that he doesn't appear to be the weak link because that man could be an asset to you in your social situation. That man could be a very tremendous asset to your social situation if you help give him those skills and that man will respect you for taking the time to sit down and talk to him about a social situation that man will respect you if you sit down and talk to him tactfully, not getting in this man's face and being argumentative or hostile because this is what made the socially awkward man shut down in the first place. Because what happens to a lot of socially awkward men is that they wind up becoming introverts or socially anxious because the people around them are just too harsh and too critical and don't understand that yes, so you may only have one chance to make a first impression and you may make a mistake with it, but there's always a second chance again for a person to basically show who they are through their actions and their character. And with a socially awkward person, yes, they may make mistakes, but they need an environment where they need to learn how to make these mistakes. They need to learn how to make these mistakes and learn that there's nothing wrong with them for making these mistakes because again if we as a society show love to socially awkward men they might build up that confidence to become the future leaders of our society now this was a video requested by one of my viewers and if you want to request a video you can send a donation for a minimum of fifteen dollars to the cash app or the paypal to cover my time and if i know something about that subject and i have or can do some research on that subject I will make that video for you. And if you want to pick up some books that will help you develop your way to learn how to overcome social awkwardness and social anxiety as related to social situations and learn some of the written and unwritten social rules of interacting with women and men, you can pick up my books in the Simp series such as Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Stop Simping in the Workplace, Stop Simping in Cyberspace, The Misadventures of Captain Savum, The Man Crisis, and Manginas. You can find all of these books in paperback and digital format on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. And you can also find them at other digital retailers such as Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. And that's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. 
Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. <laughs>